Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and Arturo. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily shape eyebrows and how to draw a perfect eyeliner in just Photoshop. So, in this tutorial, we are just basically going to be makeup artists, but this time around in Photoshop. So, without further ado, let's just get started. And if I told you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to comment in the comment section. If I told you just like such series of tutorials. So you can see we're just going to transform the image from this to this, just from this to this. It's going to be very simple and easy to understand. Just going to come and delete this. So in order to draw, we're just first of all going to draw the eyeliner in this photo because it is more of the most complex thing to do for this case. So you're just going to come and replay any frequency passion action that we have at hand. So just come and play it. So don't mind about these settings. Just going to hit OK and close this. And now what I want to do, I'm just going to delete the black and white layer so that I can have these three layers. And if I told you frequency passion action doesn't have this middle layer, make sure you just come. You select the layer with the colors or the low frequency and come and hit on the new layer icon and it's going to create a new layer for you in between the high and the low frequency layer. So just come right here and you select this empty layer. So after selecting that empty layer, we're just going to come under the brushes and simply right click and get a soft round brush. So come under the brushes rather, get a soft round brush and simply make sure your hardness is at zero, opacity at 100% and with a flow of around 50%, we're just going to start painting. So make sure you have black and white right here. So just switch between black and white or you can reset by getting black on top. Or you can switch between black and white by using the X key on the keyboard or you can switch by clicking on these arrows to switch between black and white. Meaning we're just going to create a black eyeliner for this image. So remember as we are drawing this, we are on this empty layer within the frequency separation action. And we're just going to start painting in just like that. Just draw in like that. And don't mind if I told you do a little bit of or you go extra because they're just going to be perfecting that later on so just draw your eyeliner just like that I'm just going to come and draw right here again so you have to follow this shape of the eye and usually down here it is somehow bigger and so I'm just going to take it extreme a little bit extreme so I'm basically using the open and close brackets on the keyboard to either increase or decrease on the size of my brush. So don't mind if at all we paint a little bit extra because we're going to be fixing that later on in the next step. So as you can see the texture or the information if at all I'm to zoom in is still there in the photo. Just look at this. The texture is still there and the information is still in the image. That is the advantage of using a frequency separation action and creating an empty layer between the two layers so let's going to zoom in and just paint just draw to paint and like I said we're going to be perfecting this later on so we are done drawing the first part or the bottom part of our eyeliner can even make it a little bit extreme so we just want to uh, make a very nice and beautiful shape so depending on you as an artist, depending on yourself, you can come and make a smaller brush and now come and draw another shape. So this shape I want to draw is going to move from this direction right here and move right here on top of the eyelid. Just come right here and it's going to hit in just like that. So it is going to be following this area. So I'm just going to do that right now. Using a smaller brush, I'm going to draw a line. So just move. So you have to be really careful with this step because this is going to be a slightly smaller line. So you can even use a slightly bigger brush and just draw your line just like that. I'm sorry for that. So I'm just going to hit Ctrl Z and undo and I'm going to do a smaller line. So just take my line just like that. And like I said, we're going to take it all the way down here. And when it reaches this step, it's going to branch in 
towards the corner of the eye just like that so we're just going to be making it thicker or perfecting it so i'm just going to come and make it thicker the second line and just paint it in just like it. don't mind about my edges because we're going to be making it a more straight line so just going to take it that way and in this corner you have to ensure you paint it in a little bit more or you go a little bit intense because this is where the two lines are joining in so just take it like that and don't mind if at all we are doing a little bit of the extreme because we're just going to be perfecting that in the next step so just come and draw just like that so you have to be careful and if at all you have a graphics tablet this can be a little bit easier for you so just come and draw it just like that so I'm basically trying to make this line a little bit thicker so after doing this you can now come and make this protrude even more so right now we are done applying our second line onto the eye so we just want to eliminate the extras from the image so just come right here and get your eraser tool right here or you can use E on the keyboard to get your rubber or eraser tool and the mode has to be in brush opacity and the flat 100% smoothing at zero so with this layer still selected you have to now zoom in remember we just want to eliminate or paint out the extras from the painting or from our eyeliner so just going to come left click and draw just like I can see how it is making this perfect and is getting rid of that soft edge that was existing before and I'm going to come right on top here and also perfect this line you can see it is really doing a very nice and perfect job so just paint in just like that and I'm going to come this other side and follow along and eliminate the extras from the image so you can alternatively switch off these layers so just make sure you switch off these layers and you can see what you have at hand so you can now come and eliminate like i'm saying you eliminate the extras from the image just like that and now you can come right to this point and also make it better just like that so you're basically trying to perfect our eyeliner just like that and that looks great don't mind about the color if at all you want to darken it you can come and darken it but using a smaller brush i'm just going to hit ctrl command z to undo that and you can now come i'm going to hit ctrl z and i'm going to bring back my layers because this is slightly a smaller line so with my texture layer activated so i don't want any distractions regarding color so i'm just going to leave the texture layer turned on and paint around to make this a really better and precise selection so you have to really be careful with this step because you don't want to mess up so i would recommend that you take your brush in shifts and you don't take it all the way within just a single brush so just move it as you're resting just like that i'm just going to come and also move this just like that as i'm resting because when you take it all the way you may not be able to get the best so just take it as you're resting so you're basically trying to perfect the edges for our eyeliner in this case so i'm just going to undo that because i've taken it all the way down I'm just i'm just going to perfect that and you can come right to the lower part and now use your eraser tool just brush it to sharpen it and also come down here and also sharpen this so i just want to make this a little bit sharper or pointed so you can now come to the top area and you remove those edges so just make sure you are really careful with this because you just want a more perfect area so i'm just going to eliminate this and perfect that later on just come to the top area and now you can now slice up this 
from this area and you take it to be a uniform size just like that just be careful with this step or this process so that looks great and i'm just going to turn back these layers and i'm just going to zoom out so i can see what we have just done to the image so you can see the before and after before after it is now looking nice and perfect so if at all you feel like it is a little bit intense and you want to play around with the with this i'm just going to show you later on how to perfect it to look nicer and even better so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come now we are done drawing our eyeliner just look at the before and after we are now done drawing the eyeliner so we just want to create a stamp visible la layer and we shape this eyebrow and even darken it so you're just going to hit shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard and you're just going to get the pen tool so make sure you get the pen tool or you can simply hit p for the pen tool and make sure a path is selected and i'm just going to simply zoom in by using control command plus on the keyboard i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to draw a shape so just make a shape around the eyebrow i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to start from this point and i'm just going to don't mind if at all you select all choose areas that you don't want because you're just going to be eliminating those extra hairs from the eyebrows and in this case we're just going to be sharpening it and don't mind if at all uh, your eyebrow is looking a little bit weird because we're going to be perfecting that later on in this tutorial so i'm just going to come and i'm going to come and draw it so where this is meeting is where this should also start dropping like this so just look at this just going to take it a little bit and i'm going to hit ctrl z if i told you make a point that you don't want in the image so i'm just going to hit right click and come to make selection and make sure the radius is three and until is selected a new selection mode new selection mode is active and simply hit ok so you can see we have now made the selection for the eyebrows but for this case we want first of all paint in or darken this area so i'm just going to come and get the band tool and with mid tone selected and exposure 35 percent and protect tones checked on this area i'm just going to increase on the size of my brush and simply paint in uh, the eyebrows just to darken them so i'm basically trying to darken the eyebrows just like that so you can now come even a second time and even darken the eyebrows even more you can see it is not a uh, deselecting or going out of the selection because we really selected it so we just want to invert the selection so that we can eliminate these other random hairs that are not part of selection so simply come to select and you come to inverse so it is going to invert and select the other areas not the eyebrow itself so just going to come to our clone stamp tool and for the settings we are going to be using we want to use a hardness that is relatively high up to around 66 and with the annual pass and the flat 100 percent you're just going to be sampling and painting over those hairs to eliminate them so hold down alternate and click on an area close to the eyebrow just like that and just move your clone stamp tool just like that and you are going to be eliminating those random hairs that are not part of the selection of the eyebrows so just come and clean up and remove or get rid of these other areas so reduce on the size and I'm just going to select this area and come and paint in just like that so you have to zoom in if at all there is need be so just come and paint in to eliminate those other random hairs just come and eliminate them just like that and you can see we are doing a very nice and pretty good great job so just come and sample from this area if at all you feel it is painting in color that you really don't want so just come in also perfect these other areas and you can come here and also copy and paste color that you feel is better or cleaner for your liking so i'm just going to perfect this other area 
and come and also copy and paste. I'm basically copying and pasting color using alternate and copying and pasting. So you hold on alternate and you copy and paste color depending on the area or how bright and how dark an area is. So let me just try to perfect this. Just going to zoom out. So if at all you feel like it is enough for your liking, you can now hit Ctrl or Command D on the keyboard to deselect. So right now we are done darkening the eyebrow, but it looks a little bit very sharp. So what we want to do, we are just going to come and it looks so, so dark. So I'm just going to come the opacity and slightly reduce on the opacity for the eyebrow darkening. Just that looks fine. So I'm just going to come to our, and before we reduce on the opacity, first of all, take it to 100. So we first of all, come to filter and we come to our liquify. And we are just going to be playing around with the shape of the eyebrows to maybe reduce or decrease on the intensity or different areas that are sharp. So I'm just going to zoom in and hold down the space bar to drag down. So we're just going to be using the first tool and the pressure of 43%, the size of 30 and the size is going to be changing as we are using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So you can now click and drag in just like that depending on how the shape or how you want the shape to be for your image or for your eyebrows. So you can come and take this down slightly just like that. And I'm just going to do this onto the overall image or the eyebrow. So you can see the before and after just with uh, doing this. Zoom out and look it or look at it from a distance and just come and warp that in just like that. And if at all you feel like you want to also play around with the liquify of this area, you can now click and now perfect the eyeliner just like that and also come right up here and you can now click and take that in just like that so we are basically trying to perfect our eyeliner in this very case like i said you can always come back and you perfect the eyeliner just like that and this I'm just going to reduce right there and now let's see the before and after for just the liquify this is the before after before after is just subtle and it is not too much and I'm just going to come and hit OK. So with that done you can now come and reduce on the opacity for your for both your liquify and your eyebrow darkening and let's see the overall before and after for shaping the eyebrow and also drawing our eyeliner for this image. So you can see the before after before after you can see how much of a difference that we have right now so basically this is how to draw and shape eyebrows and also how to draw a natural eyeliner in photoshop and if i told you i found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and not subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating